healing her. What the hell, but... Oh my god, look at that attack speed! Yeah, boy! Hello, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Jurassic Survival. Today we return, hello, Mr. Talking Plant. Yes, look, look at that, he says hello back to us. <laughs> I feel strange. Yeah, you do, dude, a plant just talked to you and sprayed purple stuff all over But welcome, I hope you guys have absolutely a favorite fantastic day. Today, we got something on the smorgasbord of things to do. We are heading to a hunt. The other hunt, and supposedly from what people have said, this other hunt is tougher. Not only because we can see it is tier 3 when it comes to loot, but also apparently the Baryonyx has a lot more health, which has me concerned, because our uh, military armor here is pretty worn out, which is never good. We got uh, all sorts of our weapons, we got our melee weapon, and hopefully we got a way of actually being able to take out this guy very easily. So this is something that some of you guys are telling me in the comment section. Appreciate that a ton! Shouts out to you guys, all of y'all trying to help out, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to help everyone out and make this more widely known. But supposedly, what you can do at these hunt events is this. So we're gonna head in, we got a rather powerful weapon known as uh, the Sledgehammer. Pretty good, 45 damage, second best melee damage. Supposedly what you can do is you can see attack on the dude, right? Okay, pretty standard. We got the Baryonyx here. Majestic beast, by the way. Uh, supposedly what you can do is you can walk up, hit him with the sledgehammer, and then you run. And then you run. And then you run. You can see, hit with the sledgehammer off a sneak attack, did a solid 103 damage. So it should have done 135, it did 103 instead. So does about somewhere like 25, like 20, 25, maybe 30% less damage. But check this out. We left the area. So if you want to do it this way, I'm just fact checking you. Let's see first off. If this actually does work, if he will forget about our existence, or if he will remember, uh... So far, so good. He's not hunting us, and there you have it, boys and girls! This is the way you can actually approach this boss battle, this hunt! All you gotta do, whack him once, maybe even bring your axe, if you guys have the axe, which does 55 damage saved up. Bring that bad boy with you, and uh, just walk up, it looks like he's in the same spot every time, walk up, hit him! With that, run a little bit, you should be able to run him back to the side of the area, and boom! It will be a grind, but if you do not feel confident, if you don't have like a lot of medical supplies, if you don't have a lot of, uh, which medical supplies, armor, or guns, or just kind of powerful ways of taking him out, this is a way that will work, and as you can see, it is actually a pretty awesome way of doing it, so you can utilize that strategy ad infinitum, which I think is a special fancy way of saying, as long as you guys want. I ain't gonna do that, though. I got guns. I got shotgun rain that I want to utilize. And boy, oh boy, you better bet that we're going to utilize it. We still got this sawn off bad boy right here that I want to do. And I want to find out the type of damage this guy does. Like, I want to find out more than just how long it takes to keep sneak attacking him. All right, we could do that any day. And uh, you know what I'm going to do? We're going to start with the shotgun here. And uh, we're going to first off shotgun rain him. Oh, only four damage. This dude's a bigger pansy than the other one. You do have to be careful, though, because these still count as hits. And that's bad for us, especially when our weapon breaks. Let's go to the normal shotgun. Shotgun rain, boy! Oh, no. We gotta keep running. Ugh! Eat shotgun rain. Why did you not even aim that at the Baryonyx there, my dude? Come on, I want to take some trophies home. We're going trophy hunting, and you should be able to kite this guy. Like, he does move very fast, and he has a really big hitbox, which does make it... A struggle at times, and I'm just worried that suddenly his special ability, because after they take enough damage, their uh, special ability activates, and I don't know what this guy's special ability is. Like, it looks like he might be walking a little bit faster, but I don't know if that's THE special ability. And I do know, however, that our shotgun just broke, so we took him out to right around half health. I'm gonna let him hit me one more time, just kinda, there we go, buy us some time, let's run, let's uh, toss on. We got this bad boy, it's looking like this is gonna be... The preferred method of taking him out. I don't know if this is gonna be enough to actually take him out. I'm kind of worried that it might not be. And this thing does not have good range. Like, we gotta get some modded weapons or something going on up in here. Because right now, I don't know, the range on this thing is not cutting it. Like, for real talk, I actually do not know. Oh, the beast can regenerate? What? Hold the phone. He can regenerate, you say? Uh, no. No, I don't like that. I l let's not let that happen. What? Okay, I will fight you face to face, and he also does way more damage now, which is not good. I used that one way too early. This thing is definitely gonna break before it's good to go. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, keep using that thing. Uh, we're gonna have to use this soon. Uh, we're left with the pistol. No! 
How did he hit me that many times that quickly? Well, uh, there you have it, boys. That's why you want to be a bit careful with the <laughs> Baryonyx. It's also the reason I didn't bring all of our guns, all of our weaponry. I, I anticipate that happening, but I guess this is a great time for us to head over there and see if, uh, See, just- I did that on purpose. I do everything on purpose here. There's no- no accidents. I- I embarrassed myself on purpose so we could go and, uh, check out exactly if he, you know, if you- if you die, if his health's still low, or if he regenerates 100%. Totally, that's- that's why we did I also did it to test for you guys if we will be able to, uh, actually acquire some of the things that we lost back, or if they are actually just gonna be gone there, because it's not like it's a special event. That is a timer, which just makes it a little bit weird. There's no timer on this bad boy, so, uh... <laughs> can be a little bad. As you can see, that would be a situation where maybe running away, especially when it comes to, like, switching guns or something. Running away might be an advisable course of action, and actually what I might try and do here... I'll take ourselves a Kukri. We might try to do the sneak attack strat to uh, finish him a little bit. This vector, it, it, insanely high fire rate, but the thing does five damage, so I don't know how confident to feel in this. I'm also butt naked. Uh, that that thing had all my healing supplies. Like, there's just a lot of, a lot of things that maybe we could have improved on. Like, I definitely could have survived that, but I, I, I kind of, kind of messed some things up. So, Baryonyx, please tell me my body's still over there. Uh, if it is, the good news is it shouldn't be super hard to recover. But the, the unless it's like right by where he's standing, I don't know. I mean, I'm hoping that it's still the same thing because like it doesn't regenerate off the map. You know what I'm saying? So. Crossing my fingers here. I think we died somewhere up here and Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Uh so you guys are not gonna wanna die when fighting this guy. <laughs> Definitely don't wanna do that. Absolutely nothing to gain. Uh you guys can come here though, like even if you're naked. Feel free to come here. Uh loot for you guys to grab. I mean it's uh not the greatest loot in the world, but hey, a couple band-aids. I just realized I don't have a backpack. Even better. And, uh, definitely maybe don't bring all your eggs in one basket unless you're really prepared to, uh, take them on. And what I would suggest, what would probably prevent what happened to me happening, is that whenever you have to, like, switch a gun or regenerate, and instead of going in your inventory to do it, and potentially your phone lagging, or just kind of him wailing on you a ton of times, just, just go out of the area and do it. Because as we've demonstrated here quite well, he is, uh... Quite the powerful entity, so we might need to come back with a uh, <laughs> uh, couple of more items to help us out here, because I, I don't like our odds as is, so uh, BRB. Alright boys, and here is what I decided to do. Out of my pocket, I made a sacrifice. Well, not really, it's, it's from my massive stockpile of gift cards I have. I decided I would take one for the team and knock out a little bit of a double whammy. A double whammy in that we'll open up some reinforced weapon crates so you guys can maybe see what the odds are like and we can get some cool weapons to show off and it'll allow us the opportunity to hopefully take this guy down. And honestly, I'm kind of crossing my fingers that we acquire some forms of medication because, uh, we, we can technically get a first aid kit if we're lucky. So I'm crossing my fingers that we get that. Ooh. ooh. A sawn off shotgun, you say? Listen, last time. Ooh. I don't think we've had a P90 yet either. We're getting a couple of couple of new weapons up in here. How about some new arm? Another sawn off. You can never go around with more shotgun rain. I would love, though, game, if you gave me some first aid kits. I'm kind of desperate for those. I got close. Oh. I think that's the rarest weapon uh, available, if I'm not mistaken. The M460, it's it's at the top left, so good chance that might be Nepin, Nepin, weapon number one. These melee weapons, again, on the other hand, are pretty meh. Like, I, I don't mind them. Trust me, I don't mind them, especially since we're pretty early on and, like, we don't buy crates often. So it's going to be handy to have, like, a couple melee weapons lying around that we can just kind of leave in our inbox and grab when needed. And, oh... A legendary gun, you say? It's the best type of gun, if you ask me. Oh! A new type of shotgun, too. Guys and gals, we are acquiring quite the wide arsenal today. But none of which involves medication, which is, uh, could be disastrous. So, I mean, we got a couple of medical supplies, but really not a lot. Will that be enough that and some canned food to tide us over? Uh, maybe... Maybe not. I don't like our odds with it, though, but why don't we take this new shotgun? I'm interested to see what that- 35 damage! Okay, never mind. Talk about poopy. 
You are a disgrace to the name of shotgun range, shotgun. I'm... That, I mean, I get that, like, it shoots twice as fast, but no, shotguns gotta do lots of damage, man. I don't care about attack speed with a shotgun. If I did, I'd just get a rifle. Uh, that Magnum, though. How about you, Mr. Magnum? How are you looking on the... <laughs> right about the same fire rate as a shotgun. Way, way, way more damage. Uh, let's test this bad boy out a little bit. I think, um... We're gonna like what we see. Hopefully, like I said, we got the medical supplies for this. If not, uh, mm, I, 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 I kind of want to play it safe. Let's, let's go back home really quick. We didn't do any damage to this guy yet. Grab a couple things. I think we got some berries or something lying around. I think maybe some cooked pineapple. That'll be like, if we have a full stack of cooked pineapple, it'll be like 200 health that we'll be able to heal. So let's make a quick pit stop back at home. Uh, we can also get rid of this dude here. You know, we can probably just like shotgun rain him or do some... Do some fun. It's not Escada! So we can't really do anything with Escada! I'm so happy I can finally say Escada the right way again. I kind of want to try this thing out though. Can I shoot the magical plant? Like, what? Does it get. Does it get ang? I don't think it really cares. <laughs> well, unfortunately, we can't chase off the magical plant. Hopefully, we can chase off this dude who's about to be coming for us. But look at that beauty right there. Come on, buddy! Holy death or whichever one of the trio of bandits that constantly raid me you are come and get me boy oh hello there buddy yeah guess what i got i got oh my god okay maybe i shouldn't be hating on the fire rate of this thing this dude brought brass knuckles to a shotgun rain fight boys and girls let that be a lesson to you guys a brass knuckles a shotgun rain fight that's a no-no that's a big big no-no uh you know what else we might actually end up doing uh yeah we can probably just craft up a good amount of band-aids here so this should end up being pretty okay so I think last time when we fought the other boss, it was like, it didn't take us anything super awful to actually take him out. So we could, yeah, what the hell with it? Let's just use this cloth, man. We need, we need band-aids right now. We're going after a boss. If anything, this is a perfect use of band-aids. And I'm excited to see what the next update for Jurassic Survival is as well. If you guys got any clues, any ideas, any hypotheses as to what you think it might be, I'd love to hear in the comment section because, uh, I mean, they've been dropping updates pretty consistently lately, so I'm pretty confident in their ability to potentially do something awesome with that. I have no clue what the next update could contain, but I think it's going to be good. That's for sure. So let's drink a little bit of water. Uh, we can scrap those. We got plenty of water. And uh, before we head back, let's make sure that we drop off some of the goodies with the hoodies. Even though... Ooh, burp. We, I don't think we're wearing a hoodie. Still, hoodies are dope. Hoodies are definitely dope. I wear one. On occasion. Actually, just kidding. When it's fall season and it's not freezing like it is right now. Good old 20 degree weather. I know like some dude's probably watching from Antarctica and he's like, Star, you have no right to complain. In which case, I understand. You're in Antarctica, but you get penguins. Does it look like I get to, you know, capture a penguin and cuddle it for all of eternity? No, because penguins are adorable. Okay. So while you have a penguin, I don't want to hear any complaints out of you either. Good sir. Honestly, I think 14 band-aids should cut it. But... Just in case. Just in case. No, not that. Do I look like a farmer right now? Uh, we actually don't have any of that ready. Just in case. Let's bring some pineapples. And that'll be the prefer performed, preferred weapon of healing. But with that, we are armored up. We know a little bit more of what to expect at this boss battle. And hopefully, we uh, we can take it on. And ooh. We might have something to head to after this as well, but the Baryonyx is definitely not to be trifled with. This dude is a tough cookie. Unfortunately for him, I'm about to be an even tougher cookie with some of the weapons we got here. You guys seeing this stuff, man? You guys see some of the weapons we have in our inventory? I'm mainly interested in this revolver. This thing, I got high hopes. And if this, if this thing is somehow disappointing, I don't know. Because it's, it's pretty much the same fire rate as a shotgun plus 30 damage. This might be the best weapon in the game. Realistically, in terms of fire rate, because, like, the sawn off is, like, a really slow fire rate and stuff, so... I mean, we'll see. Hey, buddy boy, how are you doing, Mr. Baryonyx? Oh! Uh, a cool 74 damage. It just sucks, because, like, the range on this thing is so poopy. The good news is... Mm, well, the bad news is, its uh, durability is also pretty poopy. We can still do the strategy I've been doing in Last Day on Earth, though, for the bunker, the little turn and burn strat. Doesn't work as well. Still pretty good. And before we engage as rage mode, or when we do, we definitely want to back out of the map. Because uh, I don't want a pissed off Baryonyx that can go supersonic and do a ton of damage to us. 
Now, maybe he was doing a ton of damage because we lost our armor. I don't remember. It's all kind of like a blur because I just remember all of a sudden dying very quickly and being very confused. Then again, that's most of my life, just being very confused. And using, like, if we can find a good patch of trees to kite this dude around, that would actually be very handy. Because if you can find, like, a really thick patch, you should... Okay, our weapon broke. I'm, uh... I'm fleeing. I am not taking chances with him. I want to take chances to maybe save us 20 seconds. Let that be a lesson to you guys. Don't get greedy. Don't try and shave 20 seconds off your Baryonyx time, right? Just back out and calmly equip yourself a new gun. No need to take things to the extreme. Why don't we try out the vector and how it is, though? I, I A 20 attack speed? I gotta see this, man. I really want to see what the hell this could possibly encompass, but we'll eat a variety of that food. And with that, armor's still looking good. All right. I'd say we're prepared. Now, I wonder, because our dude said, like, it's preparing to regenerate, or, like, it's starting to regenerate. I'm worried. I, I don't, I'm worried about what that regeneration might entail, you know? I don't know if that means, like, when we come back, he's healed up, or if he's, like, actively healing, or what the hell, but... Oh my god, look at that attack speed! Yeah, boy! Although it really sucks for a kiting strategy. Just because... Oh yeah, he can regenerate all of a sudden, that's not good. I don't know how he got so many hits off on us that one time, though. That got really scary. I think it's honestly my phone lag at the absolute worst time imaginable. And to be fair, I also think that we were stripped naked. But this Vector... I don't know if it's the best weapon for taking out a Baryonyx. But in terms of, like, the damage it does, or in terms of, like, the attack speed, it's pretty freaking nutty. And I like that. This thing, <laughs> the trade-off is good. I was kind of doubting it for the really poopy weapon damage it had. I take back my doubts. This thing is legit. And also, I think you never want to, like, stand still and fight this guy. I think standing still is what allows him to get multiple hits. Like, even if you move a little bit, it's going to force him to reposition. And I think that reposition forcing is ultimately the key to actually take him out. But the key is also a buttload of guns, a buttload of patience, and a buttload of running out of the map as soon as your guns break because you're a pansy. Listen, I'm a pansy and I admit it, all right? I, I, don't, I don't care if the Baryonyx thinks I'm a pansy. Guess who's about to be dead in a minute? Not me. So the only dude who knows I'm a pansy is about to be dead. So uh, I think we're going to come out on top here, and we actually have a crash car event to go to right after this, so... I think we got a fun little lineup happening, especially with the shotgun rain we got. Maybe we'll take on something tougher than an Ornioli-Oli as well. Eh? Eh? That sounds enticing, but all right, let's do the final 300 da- I think it was 300. 300 damage that this man needs. Not man, but Baryonyx needs to call it a night night. So hello, Baryonyx. Soon it will be goodbye, Baryonyx. Oh, how long did you regenerate? He really does not mess around with this regeneration. I don't know what lets him regenerate. Maybe it's like if you don't shoot him for a while. It, no, it just looks like he legitimately regenerates every couple seconds. Doesn't matter though. You can't regenerate, death boy! What you got for me? Oh, Baryonyx card. That's it. That's all that I'm getting out of these dudes, man. We are not getting anything good like the heads that they drop. We're just getting their cartilage. Do I look like a cartilage collector to you? I don't even know anyone who collects cartilage in this world, because that sounds really messed up for some reason. I don't know. I think cartilage collector, I feel like if someone collects cartilage, they're probably a serial killer, or maybe I've watched one too many episodes of Dexter. And I mean, to be fair, I don't think I've ever watched an episode of Dexter. I just know that it's about a serial killer, I think. So Dexter, if you're out there and I'm giving you a bad name, man, please let me know. I, I, I sincerely apologize if that's the case. But while we're here, listen, uh... I'll pass up on a couple of the other things. No way in pepperoni am I passing up. <laughs> I don't even know why though, I just said it. No way am I passing up free mangoes. Okay, free healing items. You can never go wrong with them. So at the end of the day, that's what we need to live. Like bamboo, listen, I ain't a panda. I ain't munching on bamboo for sustenance, all right? I'm a human, okay? Human, no munch, uh, the thing. Um, mango, no, I, I do munch on mangoes. Bamboo, yeah, I don't eat wood. I don't eat grass, all right, I ain't no cow. All right, I'm not grazing in a field somewhere, although I'm technically in a field and maybe I'm grazing, depending on the definition, but I will not use such things for sustenance. That is not me, and I am definitely going to that T-Rex nest later. That, th for once, that thing's got 35 minutes on it. That thing has never, ever, ever 
had a lot of time on it. It's always just takes forever, but with that, goodbye, better Yonix. Uh, we might need to clear out our inventory a little bit, probably like, I mean, we can probably, we'll end up dropping some stuff. We'll probably end up taking some damage, so we'll probably end up eating some mangoes, and uh, we'll take things from there. Honestly, let's have the 20 mangoes in our inventory. Although, I don't know, if it's like a tough boss we gotta fight, I don't know if the mango inventory is gonna be a good idea. We might need to heal a lot at once. We'll have, we'll have a shotgun in our inventory, so why the hell does it matter? Alright! Crash car, hope you're ready for a true killer to be coming that way. I will be taking you out, whoever may be here. I mean, the car is already taken out, so I'm not talking to the car. But there are predators on the way. Ho, 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 ho. Yes, there are. I'm going to wait for them to spawn before I start looting. Don't want the surprise. And it's another Ornioli. You know, if it's an Ornioli, I don't know if I want to use this thing. But at the same time, that thing doesn't... You know, let's just go melee, man. I'm going melee on you boys, you know? Now, I wonder if I can do this little cheeky thing until the boss shows up. When the boss shows up, we might uh, switch priorities a little bit. Come on, boss, man. Uh, no, that's just a normal one. Uh, there's the boss, man. All right, this is where we go to the full auto shotgun. I mean, pretty much full auto. Not exactly. You know what I mean. Let's use as many of these as we can. Oh, no, not on those little munchkins. They don't deserve the shotgun rain, especially the rapid fire shotgun rain. Now, thank you for... Ooh, more green scales. Thank you for those. Thank you kindly, good sir. With that, let's loot the rest of what these boys got. It's looking like it's going to be a lot of hide, a lot of rope. We got a lot of hide and a lot of rope back at home. So, honestly, I'll pass on those. Maybe there is a chance if... I don't, I don't know. If we get more cloth, I might go back for that one single cloth we left behind, but uh, I don't anticipate it. And we got a lot of, like, you always get the same things out of here, so... First things for us is grab the Havea fruit. Those are the, the Havea fruit and the band-aids. Those are the two things that we can put towards our incubator, and ultimately, let's be honest, the main two reasons we're here. Did they change the bags? Am I crazy, or do these bags look different? I might be crazy. There we go. The band-aid supply today is looking a little bit iffy. Definitely not getting a lot. Our military armor is getting a lot, though. Getting a lot of damage on it. Hey! Yeah, speak of the devil. Talk about poopy. We really are not getting much today. I mean, nothing nothing we can really do about it, but... Uh, what is this? I might honestly... We have so many of those back at home. I don't think we're gonna be able... Like, we find those pretty often, too. The random spikes, so... Why don't we spend these resources picking up something else? I, like, I've, I don't think the watches are gonna be useful for anything. The nuts, I should have picked those up in the first place, but... Eh, okay, the cog wheels I feel like might be good. Oh, we already had those in our inventory. Look at that. I'm a dingus. Long story short. Uh, I guess I'll take a wrench with us, man. That's the only main thing we need. I could take some thread. We got a good amount of that stuff back at home. So let's just hit take all to make sure I didn't accidentally forget anything. Because if you guys know, I'm, I'm really good at accidentally forgetting things. And I guess we'll be leaving one wrench behind. Sorry, wrench. And there we have it, cruising through the car crash. That boss, though, it felt good to shotgun rain something that isn't just a massively massive dinosaur. Like, trust me, it feels good to shotgun rain massive dinosaurs, too. <laughs> Do not get that mistaken. But a little Ornioli. I wish, though, I wish we would get tougher dinos attacking us at that car crash event. Like, I, I know, weird, like, Star, you want tougher things to attack you at event? I do. But it's also because I'm pretty sure they give you different types of loot when you kill them. And I'm kind of interested in some of the trophies that they drop. Because as of right now, like, I mainly just want a ton of green scales, which is the big reason that I want to head to this T-Rex event. And maybe with our newfound stockpile of weapons, we could try taking down that T-Rex sometime legitimately. I've seen people do it. Uh, I, I think I've seen a video of someone doing it before. But, I mean, the dude was just flat out hacking his, uh, met his weapon. Why do I want to say metal? His weapon was, like, not going down at all, uh, amongst other things, and it was just like, eh, okay. But, uh, yeah, that's, and... I think that was the main thing that kind of gave it away. So, oh, and he had absolutely, like, way more crafting points than you should have. Actually, no. I'm thinking, I'm thinking the last day, aren't I? That's usually a good way of telling if someone has, like, a modded or hacked game in the last day. If they just have way too many crafting points, it, it, it probably means some little something something's going on over there. But with that, I'm going to empty out the inventory, and then we'll head on over to the T-Rex nest and hopefully come out a little bit richer in green scales. Maybe if we have ten green scales, we'll make a fabled visit by the fabled one. By the one known as the trader. So I think we need ten for what he wants. And currently, we definitely do not have ten. 
And we also have nowhere to put these things now that I think about it. Ah, crap. Uh, I'll, I'll figure out the inventory jazz, though. All right, guys, and with us trying to turn pineapples into stone, I would say we are well prepared to, to head on over to the T-Rex event. I don't think we have any inventory room for this last little blue tape, so like I said, we really got to think about expanding soon here. Uh, maybe I haven't checked here and there's like a free slot. There we go. Okay, so yeah, uh, of course the one chest I don't check, but with that, we're pretty naked. We do have the sneakers, which is good because, I mean, we run a little bit faster, so we might be able to outrun the T-Rex just a little bit more than before. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to sneak around. It's been a while since I've done this event, though, so uh, we'll see how it goes. I, I don't know how confident to feel in this. And afterwards, hey, look at that. We can go straight to the trader and maybe see, I don't know, what he's looking for exactly and see if we can bring it back to him. I think that's a pretty, pretty great course of action. Okay, but let's get it. We got the backpack. We got absolutely worn down running shoes that honestly, they are so worn down, they should probably slow us down instead of speed us up. <laughs> and we are going to try to get the three chests at this event. And also, the egg in the middle. That is the main prize. So let's do the usual strategy. We roam around the corners of the map. We try and find those T-Rex nests. It's so weird for me to go in a biome this big. Or like an area this big. We haven't been in an area this big. In a hot minute, man. We've been doing so many of the, like, air- Oh! A little bit worn down, but I'll take that. We've been doing so many of, like, the crashed cars and, like, the boss fights. And those things take place in such small areas compared to the massive playground that the T-Rex gets to call its home. Well, that they get to call their home, because there's always- I, At least every time I've done it, there's two T-Rexes trying to kill me. Maybe I'm just that desirable, where there's always two T-Rexes trying to kill me. In which case, you guys gotta step your game up. Gotta get two T-Rexes on your booty, eh? Eh? Okay, let's start trying to make our way towards the center. I have no clue where the hell the center could be today. Is this- Oh, this is a- Oh! 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 Oh, it's walking- Oh, it's walking this way! No, 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 no! Please, edge of the map! Edge of the map! And you guys didn't miss much uh, besides my phone running out of memory because uh, I forgot to delete some footage off my phone. So, uh, yeah! That's awesome. Don't worry. You just missed me running for my life screaming like a little girl. So, uh, the, the usual, you know what I'm saying? Let's head back in, though, and hopefully with that T-Rex being kind of in that uh, upper area where it chased us to, it'll be a bit more open down here where I assume the egg is, because this indeed do is where the egg is. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh, it's stamping. It's stamping its way over here. Man, we were, mmm. We were, whoo, close. Very close. Phone, you don't want to lag on me now. Please. Not while I'm playing peekaboo with an apex predator such as a Tyrannosaurus freaking Rex. Not the time. In case you didn't get the memo. Okay, so the T-Rex, I think, is around this area. And it's staying close to the egg. Which is an issue. Because if it stays close to the egg, that means we can't get close to the egg. And if we can't get close to the egg, it's kind of, uh, kind of the main reason we're here. Oi. It's a giant open stretch of land, shouldn't that? Oh. There it is. There. Oh. Is it, 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 oh, no, so close, so close, so close, so close. I think we can, uh, maybe go for it. It's gonna be cutting it really close, man. YOLO! 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 Go, go, go! Oh, it's an egg! It's an egg! It's an egg! Dude! Dude! Okay, hold on. This is really good. The dealer might actually want to strike a deal for just one egg. We have not gotten an egg in a while. This... This is good. This is very good there, laddies. Do you like what you're seeing? I like what I'm seeing. I like it quite a little bit. Trader! How much do you like it? Because that is going to be the very last of our energy. So let's see if the trader likes what he sees. And, I mean, it's not the green scales I was hoping for, but I'm pretty sure... The trader also wanted to strike a egg deal, and this will let us level up the trader slash dealer and acquire more things and sell him new stuff, so... Bruh. Oh! Dude, that would be for- Hold on, is that a special hat? A cap from dinosaur leather. Is that, uh... Is that just craftable, or is that like a spe- Is that a unique thing? Hold on, we gotta find this out. Is that a special item? Okay! Boys and girls, I think we are onto something here. It looks like the trader 
actually has the potential to give you a special item. The cap from Dinosaur Leather. You can't craft it. I mean, you, you can see, of course, he does have a couple other items that do seem a bit more special, but... I'm looking forward to that one and the ability to trade some of these other things. Like, level 2, 3, and 4 are going to be great for us when we can reach them. Because uh, those are all... And level 7, too. Although, all those trades are actually really, really poopy. Only level 5 do we get a good trade. But still... That's gonna be good stuff. We can't do much with the eggs, so might as well start bringing it home along with all the loot we scored from there. Was there a ton of loot? No. Was a lot of water though. Good thing, because I'm thirsty. But with that, I think that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for joining me in today's episode of Jurassic Files. We defeated the Baryonyx despite, uh, despite some of the difficulties along the way. We did it. We did it. I feel like Dora the Explorer. Hooray. Where's my map at? Map. Map. Okay, well, I mean, here's a map. It's not the talking map that I was hoping for, but hey, gotta settle sometimes, you know? But uh, that's actually gonna go ahead and wrap it up me for now. Thank you guys all time for watching. Have yourselves an absolutely fantastic day, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.